hello hello beautiful people and welcome back to my youtube channel or for all of you that are new here my name is Eleftheria and welcome today i'm going to review another course about Kotlin but before we begin let me tell you that you can find on my channel a lot of other reviews maybe you are not into Kotlin but you prefer um, JavaScript, you prefer CSS, you prefer HTML and stuff like that or even things about designing like UX and UI design so I will leave this playlist down in the description box and in the description box you can obviously find the course that I'm going to review right now uh, this course was suggested to me so I thought that I could uh, check it but now I'm not sure if I did the right thing I believe that this course is a little bit more for advanced people or that people that already know like uh, Java and they want to learn Kotlin and stuff like that but uh, that was not the case for me so I don't think that this course was very helpful for me but I'm going to uh, <laughs> I'm going to start drinking uh, let's say right now Okay, in this course, it's an interactive course, you will find small projects, you will have something to do every time, so it looks a little bit like a free code camp because you have the instructions and you have to build something. Every time, if you do, I don't know, let's say a silly thing, you can revert it, and if you don't know the answer, you can click on so the answer right here a good thing about this course is that every time you have to do something if you don't know it you can click on some uh, directions or the documentations and stuff like that now obviously this course is, it's not even really good at ux because when you click on a link it should open in a different tab and not on the same tab so you could see like the instructions like here the functions and then having this tab open you could go and start working on your project but this is not the case and this is just a very simple project but in other cases you would have like multiple links so it would be like really really helpful if you could open them uh, very easily like here for example you have three things and if i click on them they will open in this tab which is not a good thing okay the other thing that i didn't really like um is that it's not responsive now i'm using a big screen to record this one but i remember that while i was doing that course i was in a smaller screen and it was not responsive it was like a really bad user experience i had to click left and right all the time to see things which again like it's not something easy you just want to do something you don't want to have to scroll like so left and right i know that it's not a big deal but if you are like frustrated because you can't do something it's it's not funny or it's not easy to having to do like an extra thing okay so the thing that i didn't like that much about this course is that it had a lot of comparisons with java so if you don't know java it's very 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 hard to learn kotlin by doing this course and it's weird for me because this course is provided by the Kotlin it's something official so if it's something official why do you always compare it with Java do you assume that all people will know Java and if you do you have to write it somewhere maybe you have to write it in the instructions but it wasn't written anywhere okay um, I believe also that some of the exercises weren't uh like very good instructed and it wasn't easy for me to understand what they wanted for me to do in the exercise i don't know if it's because like i'm not a native speaker but i don't think that this is the issue because i can read i can study in english i can obviously speak in english but sometimes i couldn't understand what they were asking maybe it's because i was trying to learn 
so let's say that I didn't you knew some stuff but again there were some very basic things like some exercises that I still couldn't understand and another thing that I didn't like that much is let's say that you're not a beginner but you just want to do um, a quick recap on your knowledges you can't just click on collections you have to feel or you have to do every exercise in the conversations in the convention sorry and then you will be able to continue with the collections here obviously because i have done everything i can go to the next sessions but if you if i hadn't then i wouldn't be able to go there and the other thing is that because the exercises are connected to each other if you don't do for example the sum then you cannot do the group by or if you weren't like very careful in the sum and you just did it very easily uh, then if you go back to group by you have to know what you did on the sum you can't just bypass some things but i believe that if you're more advanced then maybe you don't need the sum you don't need the sort but you need the fold or you need the compound tasks and stuff like that so that's why uh, I, I, I didn't like it that much again maybe if you're more advanced and maybe if you already know java maybe you will like this course but i don't know i didn't like it that much Okay guys, I think that was it for this course and for this review. I don't have a lot of things to say about that. Uh, do know that it's free and you can do it on your own. And yeah, let me know your thoughts about this course. Uh, if you have to take it, again, let me know what you believe about it. And yep, that was it. I will leave you guys right here, have a beautiful productive day and please don't forget to like, share this video with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you all soon, bye!